Now, a black owned business in Angola vandalized with racial slurs over the Juneteenth holiday weekend. Fox 55's Nico Panisi spoke to the Willow Tree Shops owner about her experiences and what's happened since the incident. Erlinda Innes is washing away the stains. <laughs> both physical and mental, after she says her business was broken into and vandalized over the Juneteenth holiday weekend. You see things like this on TV or in movies or something like that, and to have it actually happening to you is just a lot. I, I just felt really out of body. It was just kind of like, is it shocked, you know, just in complete shock. The Angola Police Department says officers responded to Willow Tree shops at 1025 Monday morning to find racial slurs spray painted on the walls, shelves and floors. There's no words when you walk in and just see all your work is, yeah, ruined. The spiritual wellness and metaphysical shop preaches peace and kindness. Innes' husband, Johan, says, sadly, the energy they give out is not the energy they got back. Somebody came into our space that we, we try to keep uh, as a peaceful space for everybody. And Innes says this isn't the first time she's been targeted for her race. A lot of people here are like, that never happens here, you know, and it's like, yeah, it does. She says someone keyed the N-word into her car a few weeks ago. We have people, you know, drive by our house yelling things and stuff like that. So it's been a string of events. She's grateful for the community's words of encouragement and support. People online reaching out to help come clean, you know, um, whether their time, monetarily painting, things like that. So it, it's really appreciated. In Angola, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News. Innes told us they don't know how the vandal or vandals got in. Angola police say they are actively investigating. And if you'd like to donate to their GoFundMe, you can visit this story on our website, WFFT.com.